Good afternoon, friends. Backyard Garden Pro with you. Today, we're in the kitchen. About two weeks ago, we gathered our sunflower seed from the garden, made a video showing that and how we get the seed separated from the pods. And my last video, we showed a little bit of cleaning of the sunflowers, getting dirt, debris, and leaves and things out using a fan. So now it's time to season or flavor the sunflowers, get them dried and ready to eat. So when I say flavor your or season your sunflowers or flavor your sunflowers, what do I mean? Well, you can go to the store and you can buy salted sunflowers, you can get salted pepper sunflowers, you can get jalapeno, spicy, dill pickle, all different types of flavors. And I enjoy the sunflowers just natural. I dehydrate them and sometimes I roast them a little bit, but I also like to season, season the sunflowers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create some uh, one quart of sunflower seed that are just going to be salted seed and one that's going to be salted and then with a pepper a smoked pepper blend is a homemade spice that I made there. So what do you need to get started? Well, I've got to have sunflower seed and I've got about probably three gallons in my bucket. So I'm using two quarts. I've got uh, one quart, two quarts. You can use whatever size you prefer. I've got sea salt. You can use any type of salt you want. I'm using a smoked pepper blend. This is jalapenos that I smoked and then dehydrated and crush in a blender. I use this for various cooking, but I like this also on my sunflowers. I've got water that I'm going to actually boil and add my salt and my seasoning to. So I've got a boiler here, measuring cup, and a little measuring spoon here so I can measure out my salt and my seasoning. So let's get started. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is make a salt flavored water. So I'm gonna take my water here and I've got about a quarter and a half of water put in my boiler and the salt varies from your taste what I found is that the sunflowers don't really absorb as much salt as you would think so I'm going to use two tablespoons of salt there is one and you could heat your water up first I'm just going to add this to it right here so there's two you know I think I'll do three just to be Make sure I get enough salt there. So there's three. I'm going to take this to the stove, heat it up, stir it, and make sure it's all dissolved very well. Then I'll take that and pour that in one of my jars. All right, we've got the water heated and the salt is all dissolved. You don't have to get it to a boiling temperature. Just warm it up some to make sure your salt is dissolved very well. Then I'll take my boiler of salt water. I'm going to pour it back in my measuring cup just so I can pour it into the jar easier. I'm going to take this and pour it in a jar. You want to be careful because sometimes the seed want to float. I'm pouring it in there. Just about. There we go to the top. Bring it a little closer to the camera so you can see what we've got. The liquid is right here at the rim. Some of the seed on the top won't quite get saturated because if I fill it up to the top, the seed will actually overflow. So I'm going to put just a touch more water in here. You can see the seed floating a little bit. I'm going to put a lid on it, screw the lid on, and let that set for about three days. You can do it, uh, I wouldn't really go any more than three days. You don't want anything to uh, start growing. With the salt, you're probably pretty safe there. But uh, I'm going to pour the water back in. My boiler and we will get started here making the peppered flavored version here in just one second. All right, we've got one quart of seed seasoning here in salt water. I'm going to make my second quart using salt and also my smoked pepper blend. It's kind of like a homemade chipotle. But I've got about a quart of water poured in a jar. The chipotle I'm going to use one tablespoon. This is fairly strong seasoning so I'm not going to use too much so one tablespoon I'll bring this over to the camera so we can get a closer look well buddy there we go yeah take a look at this so that's some really good flavoring so I'm going to add that in there Going to stir it up and put it on the stove and get to heating and dissolve this pepper seasoning. All right, we're back. We've got the pepper seasoning 
as dispersed and blended in the hot water as possible. I said dissolve, but really this is dried pepper in very small particle size, so it really doesn't dissolve. Maybe some of it will, but a lot of it, most of it stays in a very small particle size, so I want to just disperse that very well in the water. So I've got that all heated up. I'm going to pour that into my measuring cup. You can see the nice orange color to that. That was red jalapeno peppers that I've smoked and dried. So I'm going to take this and pour it into my second quart. Wow, that smells good. I can tell this one is a little bit hotter. So I can see my seed starting to rise. And I have to be careful because the seed will actually overflow the top. So my water is about to this level right here. And that's going to do it. I can see my seed starting to come up. So I'm going to put the lid on here. And it's pretty warm. So I've got a little bit left over. I'll just take and pour that out. And what I'm going to do is just set these on the shelf. One is just salt water and one is salt and a pepper blend seasoning. I'm going to have these in for three days. After three days, I'm going to take and pour it out, block dry, and then put them in my food dehydrator for probably 24 hours or so until they get these really nice and dried, and then we'll have sunflowers to eat. So y'all stay tuned. If you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe.